let's let's talk about the bloody truth about abortion in Wicca witchcraft. Let's let's talk about how that relates to this subject. Dr. Scott. Dr. Scott. Janet. Ah, Rucker. You're traveling through to another dimension. A dimension of not only paranoia and delusion, but of idiocy. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that pure ignorance. Your next stop, the Batshit Crazy Zone. <laughs> Okay. If there is no relationship between abortion and witchcraft, Wicca has nothing to do with abortion. Abortion is a free choice available to all women. Then why is there such a disproportionate network of abortion providers associated with the Wiccan religion? Because many women are Wiccan who stand up for a woman's right to choose. Why is there? Wicca meaning white witchcraft. It's the good witchcraft. Wicca does not mean white witchcraft. The terms black and white witchcraft are moving out of our vocabulary as they are archaic terms. Our actions have consequences. Use of these terms is an oversimplification of right and wrong actions and really is just a bad descriptive term as it still uses color to distinguish right from wrong. You've got the Wicked Witch of the West and the Good Witch of wherever. Are you talking about the Wizard of Oz or Wicca? You know what? It's all witchcraft. It's all evil. It'll all take you to the same devil's hell. This is your opinion. It does not take you to hell. Okay. Okay. There's no such thing as good witchcraft. All witchcraft is forbidden in the Bible. The Bible said in the Old Testament, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay. Okay. So... It was a death sentence in the Bible if you were caught. So this is something God still takes very, very seriously. Um, witchcraft is an ancient religion requiring child sacrifice at the higher levels and has resurfaced in our day. A revival of neo-paganism has brought with it a revival of human sacrifice in the form of abortion. What? What definition are you using? A brief study of cities where abortion on demand is prevalent reads like a metaphysical roadmap. In each inquiry, we did not have to dig for facts. Information on the relationship between witchcraft and the abortion industry was offered with little resistance. Offered with little resistance? You mean it was publicly available? Um, the lady named Patricia Baird Wendell, founder and owner of Aware Women's Center for Choice, choice to slaughter and butcher your baby, says, quote, you practice your religion and let me practice mine. My religion is holy ritual child sacrifice, end of quote. These are two separate quotes and they are most likely misquotes or made up or simply the two individuals heard it wrong. They said, at least two Melbourne pro-lifers overheard Baird Wendell say at a Christmas party, quote, you practice your religion and let me practice mine, end quote. And a completely separate quote supposedly overheard by one of these two people from Melbourne, beginning of the quote, second quote, my religion is a holy ritual sacrifice, end of second quote. So this is actually a third hand account and it's two quotes and each quote has no context. Here's an abortion owner. In fact, the good doctor probably works for one of these women. The, pro the good doctor probably participates in these ceremonies potentially. Well, I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, there's one, there's just one quote for you. On August 4th, 1992, two employees of Aware Woman Abortion Clinic, Victoria Jordan and Rebecca Morris, registered a nonprofit religious corporation. Now, these are two women that work at Patricia Baird Wendell's Aware Women Abortion Clinic, okay? I know you really want to bring religion into this freedom of choice issue, but when it comes to our freedoms as Americans, it does not matter what religion you are. We are all treated equally under the right to freedom of choice. The two women, Veronica Jordan and Rebecca Morse, registered a nonprofit corporation known as the Wiccan Religious Cooperative of Florida, or the WRCF. The corporation um, 
the, the stated purpose of WRCF is to provide an umbrella organization for witch covens throughout the state of Florida. The incorporation papers list two abortion clinic employees as directors of the Wiccan organization. The fact that you accuse these women of somehow choosing pro-life because they are Wiccan is unsubstantiated. Shortly after the Wiccan Religious Cooperative of Florida was founded, Carol Ebbing, another aware woman an abortion clinic employee ordered a book entitled The Sacrament of Abortion. The book was authored by Gannette Paris, a witch in France who presents abortion as a sacred act. This book is written to help women deal with physical and emotional trauma after an abortion to cope with feelings that may come up for them. Paris, Gannett Paris, calls abortion, quote, a sacrifice to Artemis, who refuses to give life if the, if the gift is not pure. Just doing a little bit of reading of this book and this particular line, I got no sense that this is what the author was saying at all. You are taking this out of context. Do you realize what she's trying to do here? She's trying to basically say, everyone who aborts their baby, their babies weren't pure enough. So Artemis deems it that they must be destroyed in the womb. How stinking conveniently, satanically convenient that is. It wasn't meant to be. Artemis says it wasn't so. Or Lilith, or Moloch, or Chemosh, or whatever devil deity you're sacrificing your baby to, just like they were doing in the Old Testament. Okay, okay. Take your medicine, relax, take a couple of deep breaths. Okay, she didn't write anything about Satan, Lilith, Moloch, Molu, or whatever name you just said. Sacrificing their children to Moloch in the fire. Literally, they would put their baby in the fire. See, back then it was more out in the open. Now they just do it in the darkness of the womb. It's so much more palatable. Back then, they, they openly did it, it to Moloch and Shemesh. And a lot of these abortion clinic employees are doing, are, are, are literally doing this to these deities. They probably have these witches praying in the rooms next to you. Literally, how do you know this? How much of this is your paranoid delusion and your projection? You know, human baby sacrifice. But today it's done more for the God of convenience. You have no idea what it is like to go against one's instincts and have a piece of your body removed from you. And the God of, I don't want to be hassled with a kid. The God of self-centeredness. Back then it was a little more out in the open. Instead of condemning these women, why do you not support them? Why don't you offer them your compassion as a human being? You will never, ever in your entire life come close to any decision of whether to create life or to terminate it before it begins. The January 1993 issue of the Wiccan Open Circle newsletter described the founding of the Wiccan Religious Cooperative of Florida. This umbrella group of Wiccan has nothing to do with abortion. The only connection you are making is the fact that members work for this abortion clinic. Through this same logic, you could say that Wiccans who work in retail endorse capitalism. Quote, a year ago, the dream of an umbrella group under which many covens would function and that committed to peace and harmony. It's sure there's no peace and harmony to the poor little baby, but hey. Wicca has no doctrine supporting or not supporting a woman's right to choose. Individual Wicca, however, may have their own opinions on this and they have every right to express it. Your obvious bias of forcing this mismatched false equivalency of Wicca to abortion is ridiculous and built on such a shoddy foundation that it will crumble from the slightest wind of scrutiny. For the good of all, except the slaughtered unborn baby, was just that, a dream. But now it is a reality in, very, in a very, very big part of the lives of many people. What wonderful witches they are. This issue of Open Circle, published at the, at the time 
the pro-life organization Operation Rescue National held an event in Melbourne, Florida, alerted Central Florida area Wiccans and Pagans that, quote, steps are being taken to protect not only the aware women, meaning the ones working at the aware abortuary, women's abortuary, but a woman's right to choose as well, right to choose death of their infant. Work is being done mundanely, financially, and magically to help get through the next few months and beyond. Why? Because Operation, these terrible born again Christians of Operation Rescue Nat National were coming against and they were holding a, a national event, a pro life event. And so the witches and the warlocks and all the evil devils that worked at the abortion clinics and all the Wiccans in the state of Florida were coming against them, both mundanely, financially, and magically. These women were being reactionary to the pro-lifers who can be violent and have bombed clinics in the past. They have made death threats and even murdered abortion clinic doctors in cold blood. So yes, they have a right to protect themselves however they see fit. See, this is a spiritual battle we're in. And they take their religion typically a lot more serious than most Christians take theirs. And I say that to my own shame as well, okay? Okay. Because I don't think I do enough either. You know, I'm not sitting there so pointing the finger at everybody saying, see, I'm such a great... No, I'm not. I'm not. So, but this is... They take it very seriously. So they were using witchcraft in order to counteract the good, the pro-life operation rescue was doing in order to save babies readers of the open circle were encouraged to become clinic escorts and were told how they could help fund the south brevard national organization of women's program to help low-income women to have abortions i told you they're really they want the minority races they're undesirable in their eyes that's who they target how in the world do you equate helping people who may not have the resources to help themselves as a negative there are many people who simply cannot afford health care or the high cost of a medical procedure. There are also women who come from families and or cultural backgrounds that do not support or will shun women who either become pregnant outside of marriage through rape or by accident. Wiccans were also encouraged to work their magic on the area surrounding the aware women abortion clinic. I think that's why it's so important for Christians to go to these places and literally pray. And I don't mean Catholics. I mean real born-again Christians. Because they were literally using witchcraft in order to protect these areas in order to blind the women coming into them in order to get more business in order to whatever and understand if they're if they're sacrificing babies inside their powers are growing stronger what in the world are you saying i do not know how this ridiculous and barbaric concept came to be that baby sacrifices are part of wicca it's not this is one of the reasons i do these videos this video from this dr scott Janet Rucker is dated March 13th, 2015, not 1615, not 1815, not 1915. This is the 21st century. You, Dr. Scott, have access to so much information. How can you remain so blatantly ignorant of simple facts? with every baby sacrifice. That's how they get more power. It's through human sacrifice. And the most highly desirable human sacrifices are infant babies because they're the most innocent. So they're gaining power with each abortion. Not only are they gaining that blood money, but they're gaining power. It's such a win-win for a devil witch who owns one of these places. You know? I mean, great, it's not gonna help them in hell. They're gonna just pay an unspeakable price. But in this life, they feel like, wow, I'm coming out smelling like a rose. I can, I can slaughter babies and do it legally <laughs> and say that I'm, I'm such, so compassionate because I'm providing reproductive services to low-income women. What an abomination. The right to choose is a basic human right. What we do with our bodies is our right. The religion of Wicca has nothing and is mute on this specific issue. Individual cases demand individual choices. This preacher is ignorant of what Wicca is and is using his own barbaric concept of what he believes that his God 
dictates for all humanity. I do not know how this man became the spokesperson for some celestial sky daddy, but he is sadly mistaken. Thank you and blessed be.